Stakeholders in the country have called for an end to obstacles that limit women from harnessing their abilities to the development of the nation. They make this known during a press conference in Abuja, where they raised a community-based campaign to encourage women to rise above cultural and religious barriers. By inaugurating the 500 Girls and Women Speaks Ambassadors, the organizers of this program, 1,000 Peace Ambassadors of Nigeria, will demonstrate their commitment to promoting gender equality, empowering girls and women, and fostering leadership skills among female voices. The number of people out of school for, for young girls, and girls is higher when, when we look at it. So basically, um, these are factors that we have to nurture for us to be able to ensure that more women get into these and are not marginalized. When you go to our various states, you discover that during the voting section, the women play more role than even the men because the positions of uh, politics in Nigeria are mostly carried out by the youth, the male youth. What happened to our youth, female youth? You see so many people say, you're a girl, why would you go to school? You can get married. If you go to the north, you see a lot of girls married at uh, underage, at an underage, and it's really not it. We should learn to train our girls. More than 40% of girls in sub-Saharan Africa are married before 18 years, limiting their life choices. As a woman or a girl with disability, the discrimination faced by us like the attitudinal barrier, the way we are treated as though we are a second class citizen, kind of, is another challenge. If we find people in our community around us, whether they are women or not, and they can do something, let's throw our weight behind them. So gender equality is us believing and standing that women should have access to certain opportunities.